All right, this is uh, the uh, panels that I have. I have um, two that I made, um, 180 watt that I got from UL Solar. Um, and then I got um, five uh, Harbor Freight sets, uh, the 45 watt sets. So I have one here, and then I got uh, um, two sets on this side of the shed, and then two sets on the other side of the shed. Um, it's basically everything's wired in parallel. It's going into these junction boxes. One there, one there. And they're going into the charge controller in the house. And I'll show you the other kit I have. Um, it's right over here on this little roof. And uh, it, it's all in parallel running back to... Um, the uh, charge controller and what I also did was I uh, round a, ran a ground wire um, which I tied into the metal tucked it in the siding here and put a ground rod in and I did that on all of them this way they're uh, it's grounded so ground rod for everything tied into the metal of the uh, solar panels. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll go in and I'll show you the the main part of the system. Okay. All right, we're in uh, my crawl space where my battery bank is. Um, I'm just gonna show you a quick, quick video on uh, my battery bank. Um, this is, uh, like three, uh, Walmart 12 volt, uh, marine batteries. Then we got this, uh, optimized, uh, car battery that I had lying around for like, an up back there. Um, it's a big two, two copper, um, uh, half inch, uh, copper tubing. Just made a big bus bar out of it. If you can see that and I get a shut off right there and then I got the got the four golf cart batteries from Napa uh, one there one there one there they're all uh, wired in in a series to get 12 volts so that's what I got so far down here is uh, just got them on like <laughs> bricks on uh, on a board it's kind of made like an L I got room for more okay um, in another part of my crawl space I got these two 5,000 watt um, pure sign inverters from uh, the power jack the same people who make um, the grid tide inverters um, in China um, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm using all uh, four aught cables for everything that go into the batteries, to the inverters, everything gets that I have has the four aught uh, welding cable. So these are for each um, leg of my um, lighting circuits because I I have two story house, so I figured the more inverters the better uh. okay this big mess in the closet here is the main system up there I got um, some grid tide inverters 300 watt only run one of them at a time um, I don't have enough panels really to to really get full use out of them really and I got want it run to a, a kilowatt meter. Um, then we got the panel here. This is for the 15 amp lighting loads of the house. Um, these two units here are transfer switches. Um, over here I have a Zantrac um, link light um, battery monitor. Right now it says it's at a hundred percent. 
um, and then it gives you all that information blah 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 alright um, and then as we go down that's the uh, 20 amp appliance uh, load center there and then we got the uh, Zantrac charge controller which um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon so I'm not getting I'm only getting like 13 watts so nothing really too um, spectacular there I got these uh, little car audio fuses uh, breakers rather to um, switch between um, the grid tide inverters and the charge controllers and all that. Um, got a main disconnect switch for the um, solar array outside. Down here, these are uh, the Zantrac um, modified sine wave uh, inverters with the uh, transfer switches um, built in. This is, this is just for the appliances and the kitchen circuits and whatnot. And then down here, I have uh, two switches here. These turn on the uh, inverters downstairs. That's for the lighting. And down here, I have a fire extinguisher and a uh, uh, battery charger just for those cloudy days. And I want to top the batteries off or whatnot. Um, so what I'll do is I'll turn these on. and um, get them fired up for the appliances. I have all the lighting on right now and um, what I'll do is I'll turn my two um, switches on to turn those inverters on and it should kick on and then I'll turn the breaker off and then these will kick on. Alright, so we'll turn this on, turn this on and it takes about um, a couple seconds before it clicks over to battery. But these inverters go quicker. So, so I also have one of these meters here. Forgot to mention um, this. This basically has a meter on the. Um, there it goes. On the, uh, this little sensor on the meter, this tells you how much power you're using. So I'm going to see if that drops, since everything's battery now. For the most part. Alright, so, um, we got all the lights are on, fans on. Um, and here I'm going to switch that 30 off which is this one to switch the um, the appliances the Xantrax on so now those are on so the Xantrax are on so that means all the uh, appliances are on and everything everything's good to go there's the uh, battery monitor it's dropping, of course. The voltage is dropped. And I haven't really, 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 really seen how long this would last. Probably not too long, but... And you see this monitor here dropped down to 6 kilowatts from what it was before. So that's an improvement. So yeah. Alright. I'll give you a quick tour and show you what else is uh what else is um on throughout the house. Alright. Okay, I got all my electronics on, TV, um you know, uh, PlayStation, all that fun stuff. They're all on uh, solar. 
Okay, up here on the uh, second floor, I got the hallway lights on. Uh, I got a bathroom light on. My kids' light and fan is on. I got uh, another bedroom with the lights fan on. I got a fish tank running and an alarm clock. Alright, um... Another fan in another room for recessed and a um, fish tank on the uh, wall, hanging fish tank. Alright, and a um, bunch of computer crap and uh, TV and all that crap. So, yeah. Um, Okay, on the uh, Zantrak uh, inverters, we have the uh, kitchen freezer. Um, we have the stove and microwave. Uh, microwave uses a lot, so just just for the sake of having the the time still on there without it changing, that's a good thing. Um, got the Keurig uh, coffee pot. Um, again, if nothing's running, I. I can make a cup of coffee, but other things can't be really running for it to work. And then I got this other freezer and refrigerator. So basically, um, with this, uh, I, each inverter has, the one inverter has this fridge, the other inverter has the freezer. This way it's balanced and nothing will uh, bog down or anything like that. And then... Um, the, the other, the kitchen outlets are kind of equally distributed um, throughout the, uh, throughout the whole panel to, uh, to even up the load. But I, I try to kind of use less in the kitchen because the, it's all, the, each of those Zantrax are only 1800 watts. And you get the voltage drop and all that stuff too, so really you're, you're not... You don't have that much watts or anything, so I try to not um, use that much, really, at all. Would you like to say something, Cheyenne? It's for Jeremy's. Mm -hmm. Do you think solar power is cool? I don't know. You don't know? Do you like solar panels? Yes. Because I love picnics too. Uh huh. How old are you? Four. Four? What's your name? Cheyenne. We're uh, a picnic player. And. What are you going to do today? I'm going to play with Jerry's. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to be for Halloween? Pippin Longstockings. Ah. And a witch. And a witch. Yeah, a pink witch. So we can go trick-or-treating twice. Since here, we can go trick-or-treating on the 30th mm -hmm. and then go somewhere else on the 31st. Mm -hmm. So you can be two people. Yeah. A lot of people don't have that option. Yep. And that's cool. These down here food. So are you gonna share? Are you gonna share the candy with Daddy? Daddy? Mhm. Mm All of it. Mhm. Mm the just the Reeses. And. Do you have a bucket? Yeah, I'll get a bucket. <laughs> mhm. Mm I have. I have a bucket. A big one or a little one? A big one. Oh, like that one? Maybe. I might just bring a big, huge garbage bag. Wow, for candy? Oh, yeah. Yay. Lots and lots of candy. Yeah. 